The Sharp Edge on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Mazic Seeds. Welcome to The Sharp Edge, I'm Bernard Tobin. On this episode, Mazix agronomist Greg Stewart visits with Joe De Brouwer. Greg is really interested in De Brouwer's fertilizer caddy and how they've snapped a planter on the back. Now that's not unusual, but the De Brouwers have also added their own toolbar, allowing them to side dress urea. And they're doing it on wide rows. It all adds up to a pretty cost-effective way to feed and plant a corn crop. Check it out. Hello, Greg Stewart, Mazak Seeds. I'm with Joe DeBrower here in Blenheim, Ontario. Joe, tell us a little bit about your farming operation. Uh, I farm together with uh, my dad and his two brothers, and uh, yeah. Cash crop? Cash crop, some uh, livestock as well, some hogs. So. Right, very yeah. good. So uh, the key thing that uh, puts Joe sort of in the farming forward classification is the use of his dry fertilizer cart. So behind us is this uh, eight ton uh, Alari cart. So tell us, Joe, when you're in planting mode, how does this cart work in your operation? So uh, we have a three point hitch mount uh, Kinsey 3140 that we attach to the back. Right. And then we carry about uh, well, 15 to 16,000 pounds of uh, ammonium sulfate and uh, mez. So that's your bland ammonium sulfate and mez and you put down 200 pounds? Yep, yep. yeah, 100 pounds of each. Okay, so that gets you 75 acres uh, sort of idea to a fill? Yep. Yeah, yep. cool. So you're obviously a dry fertilizer fan. Any any experience with doing non-dry fertilizer bands? Uh, we haven't had uh, any experience with liquid ourselves on the okay. planter, but uh, we've always been with the dry fertilizer. We were looking for more capacity on the planter, right? And uh, this kind of was yeah. the only option. So. Seventy-five <laughs> acres to a fill is not too bad, yeah, right? Yeah, very no, good. We were, yeah. So the thing also that has caught our attention when we were seeing your operation is that yeah, this is nice. You've got a eight ton dry fertilizer capacity. You got a planter snapped on the back of it, allows you to run a dry fertilizer band. But then all of a sudden we see out in the field during side dress time, the planter's back in the shed and you've put this uh, dry fertilizer uh, side dresser on the back. Tell us how, how you came to that uh, position. Yeah, well, uh, we were originally side dressing with uh, 28% and uh, we, we saw a little bit of a, a cost savings at the time when we uh, looked at the toolbar for side dressing urea. So urea being a bit cheaper at the time at than the time, UAN? Yeah, yep, yep. fair enough. And then um, in terms of capacity, we, we found we have more capacity with this than uh, we would opposed to a 28% applicator. Sure, well every pound of nitrogen you're bringing with urea, yep. you know 46% versus a, a pound of 28 yep. at 28%, so yep. you get more capacity. So. Uh, that's, uh, that's sort of intriguing where the, uh, the cart uh, is your main uh, fertilizer uh, tool for planting and for the whole side dress season as well. Yep. So guys might cons get concerned about, well, I like UAN because I put up my own UAN storage on farm and, uh, and, and it's you know, sort of got control of the supply. What's your situation like in terms of tendering urea to this uh, applicator while you're side dressing urea. Well, we've been uh, very fortunate with our uh, our supplier that they have trucks available around that time. They figure um, nobody's really using the dry fertilizer trucks anymore for starting. Yeah, yeah, right. So uh, we we've been lucky enough to have trucks available to shuffle around other fields and keep us rolling. So yeah, so tendering uh, would you be 400? Uh, how many pounds of urea do you side dress? Uh, we're putting down about, uh, if we're going full rate, uh, 435 pounds of urea per acre. So right. 200 so pounds actual. 200 pounds of actual in. Yep. And, uh, and so keeping urea to this uh, supplied during side dress window hasn't been a problem at all. Nope, not as of yet. Okay, so we've walked around to the back of uh, Joe DeBrower's uh, urea side dress toolbar. Joe, tell us a little bit about how you've configured this side dress toolbar. So we have uh, 12 coulters, uh, one coulter eight inches away from each row. Right. And uh, we, went, uh, we went with that rather than having one coulter between each row and the, and the very middle because we want to have it uh, as close to the, the row as possible without uh, burning. Interesting. So instead of the, con the traditional, let's put the, uh, let's put the knife be right between the rows, yep. you moved it so you're eight inches away from the row. So the obvious question is, do you ever see urea burn? You're putting down you know, 200 pounds of N as urea in a band 
that's uh, eight inches from the road. Any any concerns, or have you seen any burn from the urea? Well, initially we were fairly concerned about uh, burn on the row, but uh, after side dressing for a couple of years now with it, we haven't seen any issues uh, with the urea burn on the, the row. So I guess it's fair to say you move over to the eight inch mark trying to almost get a, a proximity, like keep the, 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 the early nitrate as close as you can to the corn roots without, uh, without burning them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what we're looking for. Very yep. good. So the other thing that intrigues us about this unit is, uh, and if you've been doing the math while you've been listening, uh, Joe's got this on 38 inch rows. So that's sort of intriguing. This is, this is pretty innovative, right? We're using the same toolbar for planting. We're going to side dress urea. That's pretty forward thinking. And then we, we say, hmm, why 38 inch <laughs> rows when the rest of the free world thinks we need to go to 20 or, or, or narrow rows? What's, what, what's your been experience there? Oh, we've seen uh, uh, equipment savings, obviously. We're, right. uh, we're, we're running 12 rows on 38 inches, which is comparable to 16 rows at 30. Right. So we're... Uh, so your cost per planter or per toolbar, for yep. sure per foot of planter or toolbar has come down. Yep. Right? Yep. And, uh, and we're able to run uh, wider tires in the row. Right. So we, uh, we find some benefits there to mitigate compaction with larger tires and, uh, and even trampling, uh, going through the row side dressing. We've got more room uh, yeah. to play yeah. on each side of the tire. So. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, so we notice you're pretty well equipped for tires on this. Yep. And so the 38 inch row spacing between the, between the corn rows builds you a bit of flexibility there to get the biggest tire possible yep. and be a little further away from the, from the row. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. And, and what about yield hit then? Again, 38 inch rows versus 30 versus 20. Have you had any experience about how your corn grows or what you, where you think you are competitively, competitively from a yield perspective? Uh, it, uh, we've done trials on uh, 20 inch rows and 38 inch rows and, and this is a little prior to my time but at the time there wasn't much of a, uh, a yield difference. You thought they were pretty close? Fairly comparable. There right. might have been a little bit of an advantage to the narrower rows but uh, back to the equipment savings on the sure. uh, wider rows and, yeah. um, and we find that we have better standability on oh, uh, the 38 inch rows as well. Right, a little more sunlight penetration into the canopy, yep. maybe builds a little more robust stock, yep. less lodging on, on, uh, on wider rows. Do you push, how high, how high would you push your population then on 38 inch corn? Uh, we're, we're, uh, our standard population would be 32,000 planted and then uh, if, if we have the opportunity on some higher fertility soil we'll, we'll bump it up to 33, 34. Okay. But uh, that's, that's another reason we stuck with the 38 inch rows is we're not really pushing the population so we, we don't have to worry so much about the in-row spacing. All right, yep. So, yeah. And yields hanging in there? Yeah. Pretty happy? Yeah, we're, we're happy with where we are right now.